How to get kids to do chores. Always a difficult feat, but we can do it, and we're going to work on that right now. I'm Lisa from Miracle Maker Mom, and I empower parents to connect with their intuition so they can live with purpose and passion and teach their kids to do the same. How to get kids to do chores? How do you get your kids to do chores? That could be the most frustrating, crazy thing in the world to get your kids to do chores. But I have a few tips for you, so hopefully it's going to get easier. How do you get your kids to do chores? Okay. First of all, you have to have clarity on exactly what the chore is. I personally like to simplify. I used to have all these charts and every uh, day they have a difference or they every week they switch or once a month or it was so confusing as to who was doing which and what day and now it's my turn to do this chore but you didn't do yours yesterday so why do I have to do the whole sink of dishes because you didn't do yours yesterday and it's not fair. It was just too complicated. So basically we simplified and every year, literally starting the new school year, my kids have a chore. Now there's also like once a week when we help out in the house to help clean up together, but I'm saying like a daily chore that you just do every single day. We have simplified and each kid has got one chore that they do every single day. And that way they know what it is. And I know what it is. And everyone in the house knows what their chore is. So I have a kid who does dishes and I have a kid who sweeps the floor and washes it when it's needed and um I have someone who takes out the garbage and someone who um she uh, we have like a bunch of different things we've got folding laundry there's a whole bunch of different types of chores um also I make my kids do their own laundry from when they're like 11 years old I teach them how to do it and um, that's also part of their chores that they have to do their laundry and fold their laundry and put their their laundry away so that's more like self-care taking care of themselves cleaning their own rooms now the question is how do you get your kids to do it the first thing that you need to do, this is what true with anything in parenting, is you have to um, you have to install in your children a subconscious belief that they should do chores, that they want to do chores, that chores are good, that chores are part of life. So when you talk about it in the house in a loving, positive way, when you talk about, um, tell stories of people doing chores, of helping out in the house, how it's important to do chores because we need to get things done. And if we don't want to leave someone else to do everything, it's not mom's job to do everything or dad's job to do anything or the older siblings. This is a family where we love each other and we help each other. We're here to do for one another. Okay, so when you install that into your child, say it over and over and over again, tell stories about it, talk about it, that it's important to do chores and it's important to help out in the house because we love each other and we want to help each other. So then they come to accept eventually growing up that this is something that I do because this is part of living. And we, it's not someone else's job to take care of me and to you know do everything for me. I have to carry my own weight and care about the people in my house. Okay, that's number one. The second thing is that um, you want to teach your children the concept that first you do your work and then you have fun. So everything in life is about doing work first and then you have fun, okay? Or as my father would say, you, you um, responsibility with, you know, you wanna have a privilege, it comes with responsibility. So you wanna have more privileges, you have more responsibility. And that's true when you grow up, as you grow up, you have more, privileges in life, but you also have more responsibility. So to teach this, this to your kids from a young age, that work first, then have fun, okay? So if they um, want to play a game, go out, do something, be on their iPad, whatever it is, first you do your work and then you can have fun. It's the same thing with doing homework, with anything, you know? So. Um, I have it in, you know, just in the regular schedule of the day that first we do certain chores and then you can have their certain, you know, fun things that everybody likes to do in the evenings. Um, sometimes I also motivate my kids by doing it with them, that I will um, either do the chore with them or I will motivate them that like, okay, as soon as you get your dishes and I put the little kids to bed, you and I are going to play a game together or we're going to go on a walk together or we're going to go exercising together or we're going to watch something together. Whatever it is, um, 
helping motivate them to want to do the next thing. It's the same thing with little kids. You have a little kid, um, at the end of the day, uh, you're gonna, you know, go and tuck them in their bed and maybe you'll, what do they like to do? Maybe they'll, you'll massage them or play a little game with them or sing a song with them or cuddle them. What do they like? You tickle them. Whatever it is that they like at the end of the day, I'm gonna do it as soon as you clean up your floor, put the laundry in the hamper, brush your teeth. What are the things that they need to do? Fold your laundry. With my little kids, I wash their laundry and then I fold them and I give it to them to put away in their drawer so that they start to get used to. And then once they hit a certain age, I teach them how to fold pants first and how to match socks. So from a very young age, they get used to that I take care of myself. I don't have to, somebody else doesn't have to do it for me. When we eat meals, as soon as we're done our meals, which we eat together, everyone stands up and takes their own plate or bowl and fork and knife and spoon and they go and they wash it. Everyone does their own because you take it used to the fact that you take care of yourself. It's not someone else's job to do everything for me. It's not someone else's job to do everything. Now, um, when you have a larger family, it makes sense that everyone does this because otherwise one person is stuck washing 10 dishes, you know? Um, but when you have a smaller family, it's so much easier to just like, okay, whatever, it's like four dishes, like big deal. But to be able to actually, you know, really train your kids to do this from a young age so that they know that like in the middle of the day, they go and take a plate and they eat something and then they go wash it and put it away. It becomes route, second nature. Second nature, you're trying to create habits here, habits for life. Because what you're trying to do here is not accomplish that your kids will do their chores now. You're trying to accomplish raising children is to raise mature adults, okay? So that when they will be adults and they will have to take care of their own homes, ha they won't live in, as a slob. When they will have spouses, they won't, their spouse won't want to kill them because they, they are such a slob. Um, you're trying to create a situation where your child is learning to be responsible for life. So um, yes, getting your children to do, how to get your kids to do chores is an important question because you want your kids to do chores. You want your children to be motivated to do them. Um, so anyway, that is uh, just a review. You need to instill in your children a belief that it's important to help out in the house, that it's important to do chores and take care of yourself, um, take care of the family. You want to um, teach your kids to work first, then have fun, motivate themselves sometimes and every day you could motivate them. Um, have a, a routine that is work first and then have fun. And also teach your kids from a young age to do things like taking care of themselves, you know, like washing their own dish, um, folding their own laundry, doing their own laundry, um, and teaching them. And then of course, <laughs> compliment them, appreciate them. Everyone likes appreciation. Thank you. You did a great job on the dishes. Oh, I really appreciate you doing the dishes. Um, you can also, you know, you should, compliments should generally be used just as a compliment and they should be specific and honest. Don't over compliment. But sometimes you can use an, a compliment as a, a motivator also. Like yesterday, you did such a great job in the dishes. That was so nice to come into the kitchen. It was so clean. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, there's dishes and they're remi reminded that, oh yeah, I've got to do my dishes now. <laughs> so, but compliments go a long way. Um, try to keep on the positive more than on the negative. They're like, you didn't do it again. <sighs> try to keep on the positive because the more they associate their chores with your positive shining face, being happy and excited and appreciating, the more they'll be willing and interested in doing that. Um, if you are interested in more parenting tips, um, first of all, you can certainly subscribe to this channel. You can visit MiracleMakerMom.com where I have got blog posts galore on all different types of parenting tips. And um, if you need to know, you know, things like uh, what do you do when your kids refuse to do their chores or they are misbehaving or things like that, um, I have actually, I think maybe I'll leave it in the link below, I have a book for you all about um, positive parenting um, discipline and consequences and things like that. And um, that is that. If you need any, any specific personal help, you feel free to le um, book in a consultation with me. I can see how I can help you. And that is that. Good luck on figuring out how to get your kids to do chores. And I will see you later.